Hi, and welcome back. Now, this will be an awesome lecture because in this lecture, we are going to learn how we can retrieve the task from the PostgreSQL database using our Vapor Backend API. Now, you remember that we actually inserted something in the database, these two items, wash the car and mail the envelopes. That's inside Postgres database, and we need to get it out. We need to send it as JSON. So how can we do that? So let's go ahead and first of all, create a route that we can visit to get these tasks. So drop dot get, and we can say over here task all, and there we go. We can say request in, and now we can actually do something about this. We can go ahead and get all the tasks out, all right? The first thing what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a task list that's going to hold a task object. Now, we don't have anything uh, called task object, so we will definitely have to create that. Let's go and create that. Class task, and we can say it has an, a property called ID, which can be null, and a property called title. Now, we will be eventually returning this task object as JSON, right? So we might have to also implement something called make node. We have learned this actually way earlier. So if you are not familiar with this, I highly recommend going back to the sections and lectures and learning about how to send data as JSON. By Using node pro, uh, representable, now I need to implement make node function. So there we go, make node. And finally, I can simply return the node, which is simply a dictionary. So ID will be ID. And in this case, title would be self.title. All right. All right, great. So now we can get back to our task slash uh, task all uh, route, which is going to return us all the tasks in our database. Currently, there are only two. All right, so let result equals two. We're going to ask Postgres to give us all the tasks. So execute the query. And our query is pretty simple. Select all from tasks. So this is going to return us all the tasks which in this case are only two. Now we can say over here for dictionary in result. So what result is going to be, it, it is going to be an array of dictionaries. So now we're going over each or, uh, dictionary, which is inside an array of dictionaries. And we can say task equals to task. And we can pass the dictionary. This is just a good practice that you are creating your task object using the dictionary. Now, of course, there is no initializer for tasks that takes in the dictionary. Not a big deal. We will actually create that. So let's hold on for one second and append task. So let's go back to our task class and make sure that we have an initializer that takes in a dictionary. So initializer takes in a dictionary. The dictionary is in the form of not string and any, but string and node. Why? Because Vapor basically depends on a class called node. Now we can use the guard statement to get the values out. So I can say dictionary of ID, which is in this case is int, and let title equals to dictionary and then we can pass in the title, string, else we can simply return. You can return empty, you can return anything in this case. If you return nil over here, then you might have to change this. You will have to change this to uh, allow optionals. Self.id is equals to id, self.title equals to title. All right, um, let's go ahead and build this. All right, uh, this is not returning anything right now, not a big problem. 
we can use our JSON function to return something over here. So let's go ahead and say try, and then JSON will be returning a task. Let's go ahead and build again, and hopefully it will succeed. And now our code is set up. So make sure that you run your server. And once it is running, so now it's running, let's go to the URL. Instead of the version number, we're gonna go to something called task slash all, and boom, we got our data or our everything that is stored in our database in the form of a JSON array or array of objects and each object or is basically a JSON object in the form of a dictionary in other words but we in the in the end we have json data and this data of course can be consumed by your ios application your web application your windows application your android it doesn't matter right so there we go we just uh, retrieve the information how easily from the postgres sql using our vapor backend using swift also right um, in the next lecture, I'm going to show you how you can actually insert data into your Postgres SQL using Vapor. If you want to learn more about server-side Swift using Vapor, then check out my course on Udemy. And the course is going to start from the very, very beginning of installing uh, the server-side Swift Vapor and then creating a Hello World application. And then it's gonna jump into JSON, how to return JSON, how to create custom classes and return custom classes as JSON, as actually you have seen in this particular video. Uh, get and post, of course, get requests we have already seen, but posting, like how would you post some new data? We're gonna cover all of that. Database integration with SQLite, and you have already seen database integration with Postgres SQL. Validation, controllers, creating a complete to-do list from start to finish. This is the whole app. You can download the whole app. Deployment also using Heroku. And guess what? I also cover creating a website who is using the Vapor backend. And of course, you have already seen integrating Vapor with Postgres SQL. You'll get more lectures of this. The only thing is that you have to use the code I love Swift or go to that URL. If you go to that URL, you immediately will be, the coupon will be applied and you will save 74%. So instead of paying the full price of 195, you will simply pay $50. That's insane for learning something this cool. Coupons are limited. So don't wait for the last second. Use the coupon code ILOVESWIFT and save 74% on the course, get all the course, get all the updates, get all the sample materials. I love Swift, save 74%. Thank you.